Dr. Marcia of Move with Marcia, let's work on some shoulder mobility. So catch me on the ground. We're doing this one completely laying down on our sides. We're going to be working on shoulder mobility, some circles, and a little bit of external rotation. The external rotation, you could have maybe a light dumbbell or kettlebell nearby. Maybe grab a little bit of a range of weights just in case you're not sure what you need. Ankle weight's also cool because you could put that on your wrist or you could do it without weights. It doesn't have to be with weight. That's fine. Then get whatever you need to lay down on the floor comfortably. I'm just laying down on a couch cushion and my head will be on a yoga block and that feels okay to me. You might need more between your legs, under your ankles, whatever. One caveat for this little mobility snack. If you have something really just actively going on in your shoulders, it might not feel good to lay down on it. If there's inflammation, if it's radiating, throbbing like a new pain, this might feel not that great. But that's okay. You can do a different video. That's fine. Come back to this one later. Now let's get started. Laying down, I'll start on the left side and we'll do everything on this, or laying down on my left side to start on my right side, but, and we'll do everything on this side and then turn over. So get comfortable, there we go. Get nice and comfortable and make sure you're really on your side. So you're not like this, you're not kind of halfway, you're really on your side. And we're going to start with shoulder circles. You can do a straight arm as we swim around, or if that feels uncomfortable for any reason, you can shorten it and go elbows. That's fine too. So I'm going to do the elbow version for today. You can do straight arm again, or elbows. So I'm gonna go with the elbow version, and we're going to do two in each direction, nice and easy. Let's start with back up and around, and we're trying not to twist as high as we can go and swing back around. That's one. Here's two. As back as we could go, as up, up, up. Switch directions, and it won't look perfect. It might get wonky, that's okay. That's also why I recommend taking a video when you do stuff like this. It's fun to see what happens. We'll see what happens when you get to the other side, you know? All right, switch directions. So, oh, I might have switched directions by accident. I don't know. Switch directions for one and two. Lovely, rest that arm down, shake it out if you got some wiggles. Next, let's work on a little external rotation. So bend that elbow. If you're feeling uncomfortable here, Put something here, blanket, cushion, whatever. And we're gonna go from the ground to up a little above our bodies. So try it out with just your hand. Lift, hold, three, two, one, drop down. Try it again, just the hand. Lift, three, two, one, drop down. Now if you have weights or something nearby, we could try that out and see how it feels. Hold that weight and we're going to do the lift Count to three and drop it six times. Here we go. Lift, three, two, one, drop. Lift, three, two, one, drop. Lift, three, two, one, drop. Halfway there. Lift, three, two, one, drop. Lift, three, two, one, drop. Last one. Lift, three, two, one, drop. Perfect. Now the rotator cuffs, when they get moving, it feels pretty weird. If this is something you've never done, it feels like real deep in your shoulder, just like a real nice burn, I guess. <laughs> nice is relative. Alrighty, so wiggle it out. Ooh, get your jiggles out. We're gonna swap to the other side. Nice and easy and simple. Relatively easy in terms of how much stuff we're doing. You don't always have to do a million exercises to get things done. So switch sides, make sure whatever you needed is close to your face. If you had to swap all around like I did, get re-comfortable. There we go. And we're going to do shoulder circles, whether you're doing straight arms or 
bending and chicken winging. I'm going to chicken wing it. Let's start with back and swing it around for one. And two. Switch directions. Forward first. But for me, this is my funky side. This feels weird. And one more. I feel like I'm moving through mud on this side. All right, lay it down. Let's explore what we're going to do with the hands. So, hand to the floor, lift up. Let's do it two times, no weight. Up, three, two, one. Drop it down, up, three, two, one. All right, you've taste tested the waters. If you wanna go for the weight, go for it. We're gonna do six rounds, three second holds. Let's do it, up, three, two, one, down. 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 Two more. Up, three, two, one, down. Last one. Up, three, two, one, down. Lovely. There you go. A little snick snack. So this is all we're doing. Little circles and a little external rotation on our sides. So you could do that on your couch, on your bed, any surface that is sturdy enough to hold you and allow you to lay down comfortably. Again, with or without weights, up to you. So your shoulders hopefully are feeling nice and loose and lubricated and warm, mm, delicious. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. If you just wanna say hi, that was cool, comment down below. If you want to say, well, I just learned this about my body today, comment down below. And no matter what, please hit that thumbs up on your way out. That's how we know you like this video. Otherwise, I won't know. Thanks. See you next time.